Hey guys, it's been a while since I was back on one of these episodes. Uh, today I wanted to take the time to talk to you a little bit about our approach when it comes to talking to a potential client, uh, either on a discovery call, on a pitch call, and even a strategy call for that matter as well. So what we're gonna do is walk you through the process that we take when it comes to preparing to the call, scheduling the call, and what we actually discuss on these calls as well. Now here at Whitechart, we offer a number of products, but we can categorize them under either direct client services or our white label solution services for our potential partners in that sense as well. Uh, we actually spoke to a direct client earlier today that are in the recycling industry. Uh, usually, we like to prepare for those calls because uh, it helps to you when you are joining the call that you know exactly what you're talking to the client about, especially when you're talking about their service or their product. Some of the things that we like to do during uh, to prepare these calls is first of all, take a look at the client's website, uh, take a look at if they have the good content on the site, if it's, if it's relatable, if it's uh, user friendly, if they have a lot of information on there, if the conversion process, be it either fill a contact form, call somebody or sign up for their service, is as simple as possible. During these discovery calls or these conversations, we wanna ask uh, certain things such as like, you know, where are, what is their targeted area? You know, what is their service area? You know, that's important to know because that also kind of sets you up already as far as the strategy of the PPC campaign that you wanna, you wanna launch for them, either on Google, Microsoft, or Facebook paid advertising as well. Uh, you wanna talk about what is their main service or product. Um, that way you can also be able to highlight some of the cool items that they offer with some of their unique selling points, what makes them stand out from their competitors as well. It's important to be able to, to, to let them know that we're not just your digital marketing agency provider, but we're part of your company as well because we want to make sure that we're generating qualified leads, that we're uh, helping you sell your product. At the end of the day, we want to help you grow your, your company for that matter as well. When it comes to our agency partners, our potential agency partners, it's very similar in the sense that we like to start looking by, at their website. You know, they either reach out via email, via contact form or phone and tell us a little bit of what they're looking for. After that, we still go into the potential partner's website to review what services they are offering. Are they doing pay-per-click? Are they doing SEO? Are they doing Facebook? Are they doing one of the three? Are they doing all of them? So that kind of already prepares us to not only what questions to ask, but also kind of really what where to pinpoint uh, our approach on our first discovery or pitch call for that matter as well. It's really it's really beneficial to talk about what they are looking for without even having them tell us what they're looking for. And that's why we would like to do a great amount of research before even coming to, uh, coming into the discovery call with our agency partners. So once we have a discovery call, then we try to schedule our pitch call. And this is either with either a direct client or a potential partner. There is a process that we have in place, but through years of experience, sometimes we kind of have to improvise a little bit. So if we're talking to a direct client, after we have our discovery call, where we get to know a little bit more about their company, their product or service, we go into our pitch call, where we start talking about a little bit of what we do and what we can bring to the table to help them generate revenue, grow their company, and grow their business for that matter. We talk about uh, our years of experience, our hiring process, the different products that we offer, and also uh, definitely the, our pricing structure as well. When it comes to potential partners, after the discovery call, we like to set up our demo call. And in our demo call, we actually not only talk about white shark medium, what we can bring and what we offer as part as our white label solution, but also the tools that come with our white label solution. And that is our partner portal, where we centralize communication, which really highlights the transparency that we have with our, with our potential partners. Uh, also our Compass platform, where we have all of our sales enablement tools that we offer as part of our resources to help our agency partners not just maintain their client portfolio, but actually grow their portfolio as well by either helping them co-pitch to potential clients, offering audits, offering proposals, or even pitch growth strategies for existing clients as well. So at the end of the day, we not only want to just manage your, their client portfolio, but also help them grow it. Now, we've all run into the situations where calls don't go necessarily the way we want them to, but that's okay. Thankfully, White Church has been around for more than 10 years that allow us to position ourselves to turn things around when that happens. Now, some of the pushbacks that I've personally experienced is that maybe the potential client has had ex bad experience with the previous agency. 
But again, that can be a good thing because you can ask them a bunch of questions to let you know what you can do better than the previous agency did. And that can be, maybe they had an issue with communication, maybe they had an issue with reporting or even performance for accounts. That way, when you ask these types of questions, they give you the tools to help you pitch your services. So after any pitch or demo call, there's gonna be one of two things that's gonna happen. One is that they say yes, we send over the paperwork and we're ready to get started. The other one is that they can say no. Now, if it's a direct client, it can be for a number of reasons. One of them can be actually that they're just not ready to make the investment for such a robust digital marketing strategy, but that's fine. Maybe they're just starting off, so you can reach out maybe a month or two months down the line to maybe when they're actually ready to make this decision. If it's an agency, one of the reasons is that they may not have the client portfolio to justify this partnership. But again, that's fine. We can reach out a month or two months down the line when they might have a larger number of clients to join our white label solution. Either way, it's not a big deal because you already made contact with these potential clients that can become part of the white shark media family in the near future. At the end of the day, you have to be ready for any scenario. Either the client says yes and they onboard right away, or they say no. But don't be afraid to hear no, it's not necessarily the end of the road. I hope you guys enjoyed that sneak peek of our process to get ready for joining discovery, pitch, or demo calls for any type of client. I actually have to get ready for one of these calls and I have to do my research so that the client knows that I am ready to talk to them. Don't forget to subscribe to our White Shark Media channel where we upload content on a weekly basis. Have a good one guys.